Hey, what's going on guys? So what better way to break in a new hobby space here than with some new toys? So this is a box that was sent to me uh, from Simpro, Models of June specifically there at Simpro. If you guys don't know about Simpro, they make different resin stuff and decals and option parts and some cool resin weapons and stuff. So I'll put a link to their site down below. They also have their Instagram page and their stuff is also for sale on USA Gundam store if you want to check out the supply of stuff there. But this is just some stuff that they sent to me, so I'm anxious to see what is in here. I've heard a lot of good things, so I'm looking forward to this. And first off, here is what I was really, really hoping was going to be in here, is their Sazabi dress-up kit here. So this is a resin dress-up kit for the real grade Sazabi, and I'm really looking forward to checking this kit out. So much so that even though I'll do a full video on this later on, I just want to take a quick sneak peek in here at the parts and it is looking very, very nice at first glance. So definitely, definitely going to look forward to working on that. Now just that in itself, honestly, it would have been awesome, but there's some more stuff in here. Now there is some decals. Why don't we go through this decal stuff here first before we check out their stuff in here. So it's a little bit hard to see because they all have the protective sheet over the top of them. But I believe at least some of these, if not all of them, let me see. Yeah, they look like they're all, yeah, they're all part of the new UV React decal line that they've just put out, I think. So these decals, you can see this one has like some fluorescent pink on there, but they're not all really for fluorescent. Some of the other ones just look like kind of normal decals, but they're UV reactive as well. Now, unfortunately, it looks like my UV flashlight here is very low on battery, so it's not very bright at all, but you should still be able to see that pretty clearly that reaction that these are getting from UV light. So that is really awesome. I definitely want to try to utilize these on some kit and then set up some sort of base or something using some UV lights on that so you can really see those li lighting up on a kit. That's going to be really awesome. And so those are pretty cool. So let's see what else is in here. They also make some different option weapons, which it looks like there's a bunch of them in here, if not all of them. I have to look and see how many they actually make, but there's a bunch in here, so let's just go through these. Now, I believe these are all in 100 scale, but maybe not. Let's see here. So the first one here, this is the Jim Sniper Rifle 100 scale. This one, I think, let me check actually. Aha, and yes, it looks like this is the Beam Sniper Rifle, which is used by the Special Forces special like variation of the Jim Sniper 2, which I love, and I've always wanted to make that since we got the release of the Master Grade Snipe Jim Sniper 2. And having this means that I don't have to scratch build anything, which is awesome. So now I have to make that custom now that I got this. This is so cool. And whew, the detail on this also looks fantastic. So man, yeah, that is that's definitely happening now. All right, so what is next in here is we have the Zaku 2 sniper rifle, also 1 100 scale. That looks really awesome as well. We have the Sazabi rifle Kai. This one, let's see, is this also 1 100 scale or 1 144 scale for the RG? Uh, just based on the size of these parts, this looks like it's in 144 scale. So this is maybe for use with the RG, so that's pretty cool. I don't believe offhand that this kit has new parts for the rifle, so I don't think it just changes the armor. I don't think it has new parts for the rifle, as far as I can remember. I'll have to take a look maybe, but anyway, you can make this one for that. It would seem, again, I'll have to check to be sure, so maybe don't quote me on that, but next we also have a modular carbine rifle. This is just a complete custom thing with a detachable uh, pistol there on the front. I, as far as I know, I'm not familiar with this. I've never seen it before in anything else, so I don't think this is anything canon as far as I know, but again, if I'm wrong about that, feel free to let me know in the comment section down there. We got the 180 millimeter Canon Kai 100 scale. This is just obviously a just more detailed and nicer version of the 180 millimeter Canon that's used by like the uh, Ground Gundam and the Easy 8 the mobile suits from the 8th MS team. This is before the Master Grade kits like that. Although this is so much more detailed than those Master Grade kits are, you're gonna have to do some work with that. Uh, and this one here, which is also their new thing here, the giant heat sword. This is also a new product from them. I know this was just recently finished, so I've been seeing a bunch about this and also looks pretty cool. This is this would be really great for like a big, heavy Xeon 100 scale kit, obviously. <laughs> like a custom e or something. I think this would be awesome with something like that. So I'll have to think of how I might want to use that. Let's see, you got a couple more things here. First off, we've got a cool keychain here with the Simpro custom Sazabi. Real great kit there on the front, on the back side is the back side of the Sazabi. So that's cool, just a plastic there, a little keychain you can just put in your backpack or whatever. I'll find definitely somewhere to hang that, probably on my backpack. 
couple of resin 100 scale knives. These also look like Xeon kind of style knives, something that like a custom Ifrit or Goof would some would use, something like that. And then a big stack of photo etch parts. So these look pretty awesome. Some of them look similar to some of the ones that I have, but there's definitely some different ones in here for sure. So these are actually made in collaboration with USA Gundam Store. And so you see they've got the little USA Gundam Store logo down there at the bottom as well. And so these uh, photo etch parts are great. I've really only started using them on just like the past couple of kits. I've used a couple of them, but I, I do really enjoy adding these, you know, here and there on uh, different custom builds and especially with my upcoming GBWC build that I want to make it really nicely detailed of course adding just a, a ton of stuff to that these will definitely come in handy for that and other future works in progress of course so that is it for the box and this is a, some great stuff uh, Jun and Simpro thank you guys uh, for sending me this stuff I will definitely be using this stuff there's a lot of motivation and inspiration here in this stuff so i'm definitely looking forward to putting this stuff to use and man especially making that gym sniper too man i'm super excited about that now and this is Zowie too i mean that thing looks awesome if you guys haven't seen pictures of what this finished kit looks like i mean you can see here on the front of the box obviously but you should take a look at some more photos of that if you can it looks really super cool so that's gonna be it for this video again guys check the links down below if you want to see some more information about this stuff thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys again real soon Bye bye